What's up guys and welcome back to Web Carlos. I have not been able to vlog in a very long time, but I have been working on a lot of different video stuff and doing all kinds of video editing. And uh, what I've got for you today is one of my larger projects that I've been working on with a local musician. Uh, we went to a theater, uh, we shot everything um, with practice tracks and he has recently sent me the actual audio tracks that he wants to be in the footage. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I'm gonna sync those up. So I'm working in Premiere 2021, I think it's the newest update, and um, here is the original video. As you can see, it starts uh, with all this chatter and there's all this background noise and stuff. It's really unusable as is if we wanted to use like the music that comes out here. Uh, the music is copywritten, so I won't be playing a lot of it, but um, I'll play short segments of it for the example. So, as you can see, it's it's basically unusable. There's a lot of background noise, a lot of hissing. Um, and then this is the actual audio track, the green one, that he sent me that he wants to be using in this video. So, a lot, a lot clearer, way clearer. So, because... Um, these were shot in two separate days. Obviously, they're not already synced up and I just have to do that. Um, normally, I would just kind of look at where, because I know the song, so I would look at, okay, here's this little bump in the audio, here's that bump in the audio. I just gotta kind of line them up. And if I really wanted to, one of the first things I do is go millisecond by millisecond until I hear a significant boost in audio. So I would use that as like my key mark, control K to cut, mute, unmute, and then that little, that little, ah, that's my mark. I could delete the rest, line up these two, take it back a bit, make sure they both line up properly by unmuting and listening. Audio doesn't sound doubled, perfect, but that took way too much time especially because this is a simpler version of syncing audio there are way more complicated versions as well so i'm going to show you a really really easy way and a really really fast way to sync up audio okay so i've reset my tracks obviously again we know where to cut it in order to make it sync up but if this was a more complicated project or there was way more um way more footage beforehand or even if like i couldn't tell by the audio forms where they should sync up Premiere Pro can do it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight both tracks you're gonna go to synchronize make sure it's on audio track channel doesn't really matter as long as you don't touch it uh, it's gonna go based off of the things you highlight so just make sure if you highlight them don't touch track audio just make sure it's on audio hit OK Premiere's gonna do its thing it might take one or two seconds and then this is Premiere's best guess at where the audio syncs up. So we're just gonna keep both of them unmuted. We're gonna go back a little bit and we're gonna see if our audio is doubled. Nope, that sounds perfect to me. And everything syncs up pretty well from there. Um, if it was slightly off, like let's say one or two ticks, one or two seconds, let's say like right there, you should be able to hear the difference. So I've off put it by a couple of seconds. Now listen. You see how it sounds kind of doubled. Um, if, if you're not used to hearing it, you might not pick it up right away, but it's there. Let me go back just a little bit further. That you would obviously hear if it was completely doubled over like that, but also you can hear very subtly where it is. It's just, it sounds like, it basically sounds like a harmony where one person sings and the other person sings at a lower octave, it kind of sounds like that when it's doubled. So this is a bad example of that, but that's how you sync audio quickly in Premiere. Uh, it's gonna help you improve your workflow tremendously. I know with this project, there's so much work to be to be done that like, it's just gonna help me tremendously. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If there's any other video editing tips that you wanna know, leave them down in the comments below and I'll make sure to make a video about it. Thanks.